in the UK. The remarkable skills of an artist is literally under the microscope, with some even calling his works the eighth wonder of the world. And as Stuart Greer tells us, the humble start for Willard Wigan and where it's brought him is as inspiring as the sculptures he creates. If I may, I want to open the bidding at 25,000 It's an auction like no other. Buyers bidding on a sculpture so small, they need a microscope to see it. Sitting on a needle the size of a grain of sand, a replica of the iconic Lloyds of London building. Other sculptures perched in the eye of a needle. This is the incredible work of Willard Wigan, who as a child with dyslexia began crafting his own tiny world. You know, I wanted to show people how big nothing can become, you know, because they made me, I felt small at school, I didn't feel like I fitted in because I had this, this learning difficulty. I've got 30 at 30, at 30, 35. Now, each work is worth tens of thousands of dollars on the art market. People are astonished by the detail. With tiny tools, he chisels gold and dust particles. This horse and rider painted with the tiny hair off a fly's back. And it looks like a very good sculpture, but it's only when you, you look at that and you realize it's a dot and nothing else. Absolutely amazing. 85,000, it's a gentleman's bid at 85,000. The tension of a sale is nothing compared to the nerves Willard needs to craft a sculpture. Like a Buddhist monk, he trained himself to enter an almost meditative state, slowing his breathing and pulse, only working between heartbeats. What can happen, the pulse in your finger can, can be detrimental to the work, and it can, can actually destroy the work. And disaster does strike, as it did with Alice in Wonderland. As I was placing Alice in, because Alice was quite small, I inhaled Alice, breathed it in, and she'd gone, so I, I inhaled it. But after every setback, Willard starts again. His endless patience is paying off. Right, 94,000 pounds, have you all done? For sure, it's about 94,000 pounds. That's $200,000 Canadian, part of it to be donated to a charity for dyslexia. You know, I wanted to show him that, you know, the world that we can't see exists. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.